Well, it's been a minute since I turned a camera on and I got one in my hands right now. I figured I'd turn it right on. Look at the beard, bro. It's getting so big, man. I haven't got a fucking haircut since COVID, but uh, I don't know. We're going to make some new videos here and uh, let's try out this new camera. What up, though? Oh my goodness. You were talking back to him. No, no, right. no, no, no. I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Bucky, what the fuck? Damn, that shit went south real quick. Yes, it did. Babes, mm -hmm. don't hate on Bucky. He's not gonna leave any marks, at least. <laughs> I just put her in a headlock and gave her a fucking noogie. <laughs> fuck yeah, give her a wet woolly now. But no! But I'm all no. Don't <laughs> <laughs> she don't like that one, dude. <laughs> Look, check it out. We got the sick uh, scooters. Me and Mima got our motorcycle licenses, <clears throat> and we're going to start riding them. We have a graduated uh, licensing system here in Ontario, so we have to, we had to wait some time to get our licenses, and then COVID, like, made them a non-priority, the classes, so we had to wait even longer, and now uh, we just got confirmation for the classes the other day. Look at this. This weed is dying, dude. It's not going to live. It's dying every day. It's getting worse and worse. Homeboy said I, I overwatered it, so I haven't watered them now for a couple days. But it rained a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. My neighbor's, uh, my neighbor's got a weed plant, and it looks really, really good. And uh, it was looking real small just a couple weeks ago, and now it's really flourishing. <clears throat> Things have been good around here. You know, if you don't watch any Studio 17 stuff or anything, uh, we've been really fucking kicking it over there, doing a bunch of shit. Look, I want to show you the front garden. Look at this. They've been forcing me to be normal at the house. So, uh, we planted some flowers. Mima's dad gave me this Japanese maple tree. It's pretty fresh. And also, uh, we bought this wine rose bush. I guess it's perennial. Uh, there's only two flowers left on it. So we bought it and then it died. And we put these hostas in. And we got these peonies. They used to be my grandpa's peonies. I dug up the bush from out at my mom's place. And then basically as soon as we transplanted them, they started dying. So hopefully they'll come back next year. And if they don't, it was free flowers anyway. So that's cool and then yo remember this remember the camper bro let's take a look at the house get the truck out here you know what I mean Mima's gone to work right now usually she's parking in the driveway but here it is here's the damn house it's been the same it's been the damn same nothing's really changed too much like uh, externally I suppose um, do you guys ever remember Backyard Bobby? Backyard Bobby ended up moving and uh, he gave me his riding lawnmower. So now the grass is pretty maintained. I know I used to not do it a lot before, but I put the mower under that tarp there. And that's really great. Let's go in the camper. I want to show you guys everything. I want to show you everything. There's nothing to like new, but I haven't made a video in a long time. so. It's nice to do a little inventory of, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm a little bit stoned, but shit, I'm also scared as fuck. <laughs> the door come flying off. Check out the damn camper though, cuz. So last year, in 2020, when it was the pandemic, Mima and I uh, got some cash together, and we put some money into fixing up the camper. And so now all my external electrical works, I had a problem with, uh, hold on a sec here, let me turn this light on for you. I had a, uh, oh, look at this, I'm like glorious. I can't fucking, I can't fit in the door. I gotta fucking turn in, bud. It's brutal. And when I sit on the toilet to take a shit, my foot is always, always out the door. Like if I sit like this with my feet confined, Within the door, I can barely poop, dog. It's, it's fucking crazy. 
<coughs> but I had a sewer leak anyway with the camper. And uh, we got all that fixed. We got some a uh, bunch of other issues that were happening with the camper fixed. When we went into pandemic in April 2020, the camper was closed we shut it down for the winter in november right 2019 and then we didn't open it up until august 2020 when we went to our first event because covid had everything on lockdown i didn't even think to spring open the camper like open it for spring is what i meant to say and so uh the water and the alcohol, the antifreeze or whatever, just sat in the hot water tank for the whole season because I never had a hot water tank bypass. My shit was always dicked. <clears throat> so anyway, I uh, left the water in the tank from November 2019 until August 2020. And we went to the Windsor weekend to... Uh, when we went to Windsor weekend... We, that was our first event of 2020. I'm sorry I can't spit it out. And anyway, I started flushing the hot water tank there. And it was just fucking shitting out brown, brown water. I took a sample of it with a water bottle. And the sediment in it was just like so crazy. Like, it, you know, the, the hot water tank was destroyed. So they drained the hot water tank. But they left it in because it would have left a big hole in the side of the camper if they took it out. And then... And then they fixed all the sewer pipes. The whoa, well, what I didn't say is a moment ago is when we uh, when we were flushing out all that brown water in August 2020, it didn't even drain. It fucking backed up into the tub in the bathroom. We were draining the water in the kitchen, and it started backing up in the bathtub. But we started draining the water in the kitchen on Friday, you know, and uh, and we didn't leave until Sunday. And I just used my shower as storage. <clears throat> so uh, so we drain the water on Friday. Sunday when we go to leave, I'm going to get some electrical shit to put it all away and all the tub is flooded. I was so pissed off, man. A bunch of my electronic, like all my cables and shit got wet. All my power wires and everything. So I got super pissed. And then, uh, and then that was, I had a, I had a problem with the tank leaking also at Shimmer Forest in 2019 and uh, and I never I never had a leaking problem before that so anyway they ended up pulling all the pipes out and the guy goes well the bottom of your camper is lined in tin so for us to even access to make a to to give you a quote on the problem we have to cut open the tin to cut open the tin we're going to charge you three hundred and fifty dollars to cut out the bottom of the camper and i'm like uh okay and then like i don't know what i expected but instead of uh like fitting the metal that they cut off back on when the job was done they just like did what like newer rvs have and just screwed in a piece of fucking like bubble wrap insulation it's like thick shit but whatever <clears throat> but they said that one of the uh, pipes leading to the shower was all clogged up and uh, and some other shit and they fixed it so now I got all new sewer pipes on the camper and everything and uh, yeah the camper's good to go I never had my like battery stuff I got a new uh, brake brake lock so the new brake lock is on and they fixed all my they rewired my seven way so that the lights actually work properly now because they didn't before for several years they fixed it so that i could put a battery in here and connect the battery up to these leads and shit so now i could do a little bit of light boondocking like if i show up at a spot i got some power to run some lights maybe charge a phone so that's super cool What are you doing? Popsicles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's June 16 at 1.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we're eating popsicles, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. What up, though? It is Wednesday, June 16, 
at 10.20 a.m. Let's go take a look at the weed real quick. Uh, like I was saying in the previous clip, I haven't been giving them water because everybody says that I was overwatering them, but they're looking like shit still today. And I don't know. I think I should give them a little bit of water. I don't know. They're turning more and more yellow every day from the bottom to the top. I pull off a couple dead leaves and then the next day more leaves are dying. It's sad. But it is what it is. I don't know what I can do about it, so... <coughs> Either the weed will live or the weed will die. What are we doing? Um, getting ready to go to your brother's. Why do we have to go there? Because my battery in my car died at my work. Yeah. I tried to do the generator today, but it's leaking gas all over the ground, so I don't think it's a good idea to yeah. get it. So we'll just take my truck there with uh, a pair of jumper cables, okay? Yes. Okay, let's hurry up, Mima. Wait, I'm putting my lunch Jeez. Just relax. Hurry up, booty. Bleak. <laughs> Job, eh? Yes. Is this where they keep all the weed in this giant silo? Uh, no. I don't know what's in there, but I Where do they keep the weed? Well, all the greenhouses are right here. There's some here They're growing, some weed, in the here. growing weed in all these greenhouses over here. They're growing weed in these buildings too, you're then, saying? Yeah, and where Double Diamond is, I believe, is where they're doing it too. Ooh, Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> All right, well, we just started this truck up, so let's try to get the car a little charge, okay? Yeah. Should take my car. started in one shot. We had yeah. it hooked up to the truck for and how last, long? Less than two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So now your car's running? Yeah. We'll take the cables off, and we'll let the car idle here for a few minutes, and then I'll drive the car home, and you can take the truck home yeah, tonight, alright? because I'm going to park right here. Alright, success, gigs. Look, we did it. Woo woo. Out here. <laughs> oh, I got the battery charger on. They look like little clips. A little fuse here. Uh, here actually, sorry. I'm looking through the... So I got this NOCO Genius 2x2. I'll show you the box. Actually, I'll just show you the unit. It's right here. So I bought this NOCO Genius 2x2. It's two... It's two 2 amp banks for trickle charging and battery maintenance and it looks like the battery's already at a hundred percent so we'll just let it do a little trickle charge anyway and uh, it'll optimize the battery. Mima says that the battery in the car is four years old so uh, yeah no I don't think it's going to have to be replaced. It started right up and the charger says that it's at 100% already after only being charged for a minute or two. Now, I got this Android box here, this little My X, uh, MXQ Pro 4K. That's the box. I got another box over here. It's like auto TV or some shit. But uh, I got my phone and my phone should have an app on it called Miracast. And I try to use Miracast on the TV here, but it don't work. I can't get Miracast to work. And what it does is it, it Wi-Fi displays my phone screen onto the TV, which is great for things. Uh, I used it in the past to play movies in the Iceman's Camper, but we used his phone and his Android box with Miracast. And then I see that some boxes don't some boxes don't support Miracast. But then when I go online to try to figure out how to freak it, they're like, oh, get Miracast running on MXQ Pro 4K. And it's like I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So uh, I got Mima's truck on uh, car on charge. I'm home. Uh, it's Wednesday. I don't got nothing to do until positive vibes tonight. So maybe I'm going to fuck around and see. I can't even get YouTube to work on this or nothing, so it's time to upgrade this Android box. 
what up though it is 2 18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday June let's say it's 17th or something I don't know let me check my phone pocket because saying the date seems to be so fucking important it is the 17th it's Thursday the 17th yo uh, my computer's restarting that's why I started vlogging real quick here I picked up Mima's car and brought it home put it on the charger like you saw and then uh, it was saying it was a hundred percent all night but I started the car right after I took the charger off the battery and it started right up and then Mima went to start the car today about 12 hours later and it was fucking dead so we got to get a new battery that sucks what up though it's Friday night at 8 28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the time of times and uh, I told myself I wanted to do a little bit of live vlogging every day and uh, it's late. I'm supposed to be doing a live stream. Look at this. Instantly pissed coming outside. These fucking squirrels are digging in the plants. I've cleaned the dirt up several times. They're going to have to get fucking beat. Look, they dig right through the middle of the plant. They're going to get fucking killed. I'm going to kill squirrels. Subscribe to the channel if you like animal death. <laughs> because I'm about to fucking murder some shit in this bitch. Anyway, my weed friend told me that shouldn't worry about the plants too much now they're gonna come back but they don't look like they're coming back dog let's take a quick look oh they're dying they're dying they're all yellow and diseased and fucked up and fucking sucks so that's my Friday vlog update I'll come back on Saturday. Look, looks like some fucking branches fell down. We had some crazy uh, rain over night, and that's it. That's that's all I got. That's all I got to vlog about right now. Thanks for watching uh, this Friday vlog, and uh, I'll film something else on Saturday. Okay? Whoop whoop. Well, it's Saturday. What time is it, Gigs? Do you know? You don't know what time it is. Do you know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby. And you're gonna die. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, it's actually 6.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check it out. Uh, I'm not wearing a shirt. And Mima and I went and got this helmet today. Uh, so that's super fresh for the motorcycle classes. And then also... I scooped up a jacket. Mima, here, when you put the potato in the oven, can you take the camera and then film me uh, trying on the coat? Ooh, let's eat these tinfoil boys. Can I close this? Yeah. Hey? Did you like going out and getting the motorcycle stuff today? Mm, I guess so. I got this motorcycle jacket. Everything is expensive as fuck here. I don't care that I'm not wearing a shirt. It'll only take a second. Yo, yeah, let's turn the light on too real quick. <laughs> Boom! It's the worst light ever. It's like okay, got wait. darker when I turn that switch on. Dude. I got you. Oh, check it out. I'll spare you zipping it, but look, you can tell that even with my fat belly, it's more than zippable. But check this out. It's got these like hooks. It's got a little hook on it. And you pull it forward and latch it onto this to tighten the elbow pad. You broke it. I broke this side, yeah. I fucking pulled it to lock it, and it broke. And then look at this one in the light real quick. See how, uh, see how it's starting to break there? Yeah. You can see that? You think that maybe it was already broken? Well, yeah, of course I do. It's yeah. a used jacket. Yeah. But I got a nice deal on it anyway, despite me breaking yeah. it. It wasn't broken before I got it. And, uh, yeah, pretty happy. And then we got a jacket for you today. It's a little bit, uh, it's an alpine one. It's not one. my favorite. I would have rather had the woman's one, but that's yeah, I okay. Yeah, with the little flaming fucking... It is what it is. Are you yeah. just pointing that at my dick? No. Should I point it at yours? <laughs> what up, though? It's Sunday at 11.54 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm chilling here with Kyle. What up, though? What up, though? Chilling, 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 smoking, smoking. Yeah. yeah, we're chilling and smoking. That's our that's our lives. What up though? This is all Biba. Are we gonna go outside and do some gardening today? I think so. 
little bit later. I gotta get up to the city and pick up a memory card and maybe some other stuff. So well, I gotta go get my shoes. You wanna go okay. get shoes? Well, I'm gonna today? go look today and see what they in the have. city. Well, no. Uh, I'm You're gonna go to the place that's over there. Yeah. I said if I don't find anything, I got get one some more. Shoes. It's a damn day of plans around here at the Not Slim One compound, uh, so we'll see what the rest of the day brings. <coughs> Happy Father's Day. I don't know what time it is. It's got to be around 4.30 or something. My dad is buried right in his building right here, right in the top center. That's my mom, and Mima's over there too, but I wanted to show them where the path was. Uh, there's a path, a public path. And sort of like breaching the little ditch here to get into the path is sort of like not what you do. You know, they don't really want you out here doing nothing like this. But it's not really that big of a deal. Ugh. And now I'm on the path. Where the fuck did the fucking people go? Yo! Yo! Can you see me? That's my mom. And my dad is in the top center one, the one that doesn't have the name on it. So this is the path. It goes all the way down this way for about a kilometer and a half. And then it kind of turns around this way and runs along with the highway, but still, it's pretty cool. Um, it's Father's Day today. I'm going to follow my ass here. It's Father's Day today. And this is the first time that uh, I come out here with my mom since my dad died, but I've been out here a couple times myself. Anyway, a little quick thing with him. This is where he is. And like, we, I live just across the road, just over here, uh, over there, two minutes away. It's great. Anyway, happy Father's Day. What up though, it's 20 to 9 on Sunday night. I feel like this is going to fall. It's not going to fall, it's planted deep in the ground. It didn't fall all day that it was attached. Why well, water it, that's why. Calm down. It is moving more than that, that you put water in it, right? Talk to yourself and tell yourself to calm down. Hey, <laughs> calm the fuck down. Well, you calm down. Are you cutting the things or not? You're not cutting them? Yes, please. I need uh, one of those um, bottom ones like this to put the plants in the... Thanks. Do we have any of these What are you out doing here? with this? Do we have any of these out here? No, what are you doing with this? I'm going to put the tomato plants in I there. thought you wanted the five-gallon pots from within oh, the shed. Oh, okay. Well, if they're there, then yeah, I'll do that. I'll Dude. Get it. What, Blake? Well, Mima put some new flowers in the ground, or plants at least. This one, and this one, and this one over here. And it is what it is. Looks alright. She had to cut down the uh, peonies because they were dead. So hopefully they'll grow back good next year. And the maple still looks dope as fuck. It's Monday at 10.36 a.m. and we're watching the fucking propaganda put forth by the government talking about how the border is going to remain closed until at least July 21st and that uh, starting July 5th, people who are fully vaccinated can come home without having to quarantine or take a day eight fucking coronavirus test so it looks like I'm gonna end up flying to America for the gathering this year I don't think the uh, border is gonna be open for me to drive over but there could be something I don't know I don't want to speculate in this clip maybe I'll share some more later what up though it is Tuesday at around noonish, and Mima just fucked off to work with the truck her car battery died a couple days ago and uh, I wanted to put a video out yesterday on Monday night, but I uh, am lazy, haven't edited in a while, and got to get that motivation, man. I've been filming something pretty much every day, even if it's only for a minute or so, 
and that's dope so I just want to thank you guys for coming back out here and watching these videos I don't know this one probably wasn't all that interesting but <coughs> it is what it is the weed is growing good out there I don't know you probably can't see but it's out there and it's growing it's looking a lot better I'll give you an update in the next video and uh, I guess since this is just me talking about my life this is the vlog uh, the reason, a part of the reason for me being lazy yesterday is that I heard on a couple of videos that if you plug the camera directly into the computer, it's extremely slow to get the data off of the card. Uh, you might even need to download some stupid proprietary software to do as such. My computer doesn't have an SD card slot on it, and I used to have an SD to, uh, yeah, excuse me, so many letters, an SD to a USB adapter, but that is lost. It's long lost. I've been looking for it for weeks and months, and I can't find it, and especially this week since I've been vlogging these videos. <coughs> so, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm just going to have to archaically plug the camera into the computer and slowly grab the files that way. I need to just buy a little USB SD adapter or whatever SD to USB so anyway this is going to be the final clip because uh, I got to finalize it somehow so that I have uh, a complete show so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching this vlog it is going to be at least a limited series run leading up to the gathering of the juggalos and I, I'm hoping that I'm going to be putting out content at least once a week and uh, what I'm trying to do is not hold myself to any specific obligation so that I don't feel pissed off that I'm not meeting uh, any uh, self-imposed personal goals with the videos. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. I'm going to try to make another one later uh, and hopefully release it next week. You know, I wanted to release one yesterday on Monday because, uh, you know, that's traditionally when the vlogs are generally released in the past. And so I'd like to try to keep that going. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe there'll be one next week on Monday. Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? But either way, thanks for watching this one. I'm going to end it right here. Don't forget to fucking check out Studio 17. If you're new here, Studio 17 dominates. I'm doing a lot, a lot, a lot of live content over there. Um, and, uh, it's a pretty steady schedule of live content. So check it out. And, uh, Bender Boys dominate. Woo, woo. What up though? It is Tuesday, June 29. It's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Whoa, I'm squeezing through these bikes. Mima's uh, tomato plants are really, really growing really big. She put four in here, and I don't think that that was necessarily the right thing to do, but they're not my plants. So here's her rosemary. Uh, so we are uh, chilling. It is Tuesday, like I said. I filmed a bunch of shit two weeks ago and I didn't put a video up and then I went live yesterday and told everybody that I was gonna put some videos out so fucking here I am filming more stuff for videos here's the weed update the plants are getting fucking huge okay like when I got them they were not looking so great uh, they were sitting in these little tiny pots that weren't much bigger than this you know really small and I let them sit in there for an extra week because I'm stupid and then I put the plants in the ground back here and uh, I started over watering them like a fucking dummy <coughs> excuse me I started over watering them like a dummy and they started sagging now they've really bounced back and they look great I put some pro mix topsoil or whatever on the fucking things I'm not too worried about it you know, it'll, uh, it'll do what it needs to do. And I'm pretty excited about that to see how they develop. You know, it's, it's July 3rd is coming up. The sad, this Saturday is July 3rd. And we got Blake stock popping off on, uh, July 17 this year. That's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, what else can I talk about real quick? Well, I'll show you the other garden. That's why I walked up to the front. Damn, the Japanese maple too, bro. Leaves die on trees. And then they go into hibernation or whatever for the winter. Looks like the squirrel's been digging down there. But uh, this thing was like this big, you know, and had two little leaves on it at the beginning of the season. So I'm really happy with its progress. It's gonna grow up to be really tall and shit. 
but I wonder how long it'll take to be thick. Probably a really long time. And then Mima put all this shit in. It's, you know, whatever. I'm not going to bend down again. But she put in some hostas and some other plants that change colors and shit. <coughs> and so, uh... <coughs> excuse me. The garden's looking pretty good. And then in summation for this clip, uh, here's my electric jack. Today is the 29th, I think I just said. On June 17, 2020, at about 3.30 in the afternoon, I got security cameras up here on the house. And that camera looks right down over the driveway and does see this jack. Now, when I go back and look at the security footage on the date in question, at the time in question, the jack mysteriously starts raising up. And it stays, and it goes up, and it stays up. And uh, also, real quickly here, um, the switches have lights around them. One switch is for the exterior light on the jack, and one is to make the thing go up and down. When the camper is plugged into the house, the indicator lights for those switches are on, and I believe it's supposed to stay off, you know? And the jack went up mysteriously. So I think what happened is maybe water in infiltrated the, uh, the switches and damaged them. So now I gotta go get my switches looked at. And that happens uh, actually tomorrow on Wednesday. And since I'm vlogging every day, I will have an update about it, I guess. <clears throat> and that's just sort of where I'm at with uh, the new intro to the new vlog that I'm trying to film. Everybody on the live stream that had an opinion yesterday was suggesting that I should keep calling the series Not Slim One now. And also uh, that I should be releasing the videos on Monday. So if this is some big two-week boy full of fucking videos, then so be it. If not, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, and then Mima was talking about all the fish flies. Some people call them mayflies. We call them fish flies. And uh, we're getting them this season, man. They're all over the damn ground right now from last night. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I just did five minutes of bullshit. Is this the right way? My bad. Oh, man, I'm still learning how to vlog, baby. Cut me some fucking slack. What up, though? It is Wednesday. Oh, it's raining. I don't want to take the camera in the rain. Let's see how the digital zoom works on the weed today. I uh, am saying that it's 11 o'clock, it's like 11.09 a.m. Friday, sorry it's Wednesday, and uh, how's that image stabilization, fuck, it feels pretty good, but the weed's growing out there, and uh, like I said, it's 11 a.m., the time of times, or whatever, that's pretty good, that's pretty good zoom, right? It's a good zoom. I'll give Homek another shot. I'll give Homek another shot. Uh, super bad. Anyway. I don't know why I'm ro roaming around. I was going to go look at the weed, but now it's raining. So, uh, today, uh, where can I go where it's not raining? Like about here. It's too bad. I'll go to the rain for one second and show you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an idiot. Uh, the jack. It exists. It's right here. And so, uh, what's going on is, um... Oh, I didn't wipe the dirt off. Hold on a second. I'm going to fix that shit. Uh, hopefully that's better. Uh, anyway, the jack. <laughs> Dude, my brain is fucking rotting in my fucking skull. I can't think for shit. But uh, anyway, um, I'm saying, uh, oh, the perlator's here, but it's probably not for me. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, the jack. The thing about the jack is that... Uh, I got it, dude, dude, I'm, it's, I'm having a hard time talking right now, and I do not know why, let me fucking try again, what up, uh, whatever I was saying a second ago, I had to refilm it a couple times, cause, like, I can't think of what to say, but I know what I want to say, I'm gonna say it right now, here we go, uh, the jack, it has a fucked up switch, I think, and, uh, a little while ago, I think I might have already said this, who cares, the jack leg went up 
mysteriously by itself and I think it's a faulty switch so now because I'm shit at doing anything or fixing shit uh, I got to uh, drag the whole camper to the place so that they could look at one switch so I don't know I'm gonna do that I was uh, today's Wednesday at 11 a.m. I was supposed to do that for 1 1 p.m. today but it's raining outside and I literally don't, uh, oh, remember this from the vlogs? I do what I want, right? So, like, I literally don't want to do anything in the rain, and it's just a switch. It's not hurting anything. Uh, I'm not having any intention right now to pull the camper anywhere. Uh, it's June 30th, so we're just about to hit July. And, uh, and once July comes... Um, maybe we'll do one camping. I was trying to maybe get one camping in in July. And then, as I often do, go to Windsor Weekend every year for the last few years. They announced that it was happening. They hit me up and said some shit about tickets going for sale uh, privately. But then they made a public post that was saying that they might not have get, um, spectators. And then after that, they... Uh, <clears throat> they made an announcement just a couple days ago that they could maybe have up to 1,500 spectators, which is not a lot for them, but, like, it's not, like, the most popularist uh, event, so I'm pretty confident that I would get uh, a ticket, you know, because I'll be ready the day that the tickets go on sale. And uh, me and Mima can traditionally pull the camper up there and do that in August. And uh, that is the... Uh, that is August uh, 13, 14, 15. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then Monday the 16th or Tuesday the 17th is the day that I intend to leave for the gathering of the Juggalos. And so it's just kind of like waiting, waiting. Uh, I've already said all this shit. Until July 21st for the border announcement to be made. And... Uh, and that's where I'm at with it. I highly, highly doubt with my zero vaccinations that I'll have any ability to drive into America in August. But as I just said, we'll find out July 21st. And I guess that's it for now. It's Wednesday. Mima's leaving for... Uh... Excuse me. Mima's leaving for London um, on Friday. She's got a day off on Friday. So she's going to take off. And then uh, I'll just be home alone. And maybe what I'll do is pull my camper over to my parents' house. I told my mom I was going to go get the camper fixed and then bring it to her place. But maybe I should bring it to her place. Chill in it this weekend while well, Mima's gone, maybe. And then bring it in next week or something. I don't know. I do whatever I want. I do what I want, right? All right. Um, that's it for now. What up, though? It is uh, Thursday at 2.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look, I bought this. I got it. It's USB. And then I guess this piece, like, flicks up here. I don't know if it shows it. Like, I don't know, it's hard to see, but it does, like, it flips up and makes a smaller USB. And then it's got an Android and an iPhone uh, USB, whatever, port on the other side. Power in, micro SD and regular SD. Dude, it's so fucking fresh. It was 20 bucks. But uh, it's going to be great to be pulling data off of the memory card from the camera and putting it uh, onto the computer for editing. <laughs> Yo, let's go outside and look at the weed plants because that's the only content that I've got. Is it raining still right now? Oh, it's really raining still. Well, uh, it's raining a lot here, I guess, which is nice because wasn't the last clip that I did. Well, let's zoom in on them. Fuck it. We can do that. Let's see. They are definitely growing like weeds every single day. They grow a little bit bigger. And I'm real happy about that. They were looking really bad previously. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Just to uh, do things is 
I'll take all of the footage, even from like two weeks ago, and I'll just make a mega compilation of content. And we can go from there. Ooh, it is raining. Let's stand under a tree. The garden is growing, also. Uh, the hostas are getting like flowers on them. And the Japanese maple is still doing pretty fucking good. It ain't gonna die. It's definitely thriving. I love it. I love the Japanese maple. I always all... Oh, shit! Holy fuck! Oh my god, I just tripped so fucking hard on this thing, dude. Jesus Christ. Look, I've tripped three times. One, two, three, four times probably on this thing. I just fucking kicked the fuck out of it right now, too. God damn, that hurt my foot. Well, I'm done vlogging now. Fuck this. What up, though? It is still the same day from whatever I said it was before, and y'all know that I'm a big hoarder. It's no secret, and I got this closet, and it's full of shit, and it's really fucking... It's smelling damp in here, you know what I'm saying? And we just got the bathroom fixed a couple years ago, and also, like, in this closet, I also have a massive hoard, okay? And uh, behind this hoard is a plywood wall that goes to my hot water tank. So I gotta get back there and figure out what's going on. And uh, yeah, I'm just in the middle of trying to get all this sorted out and things that I wanna, junk that I gotta sort and keep and shit that I'm actively sorting and paper and plastic and metal. So look, I found, so let me turn this music off for a quick second. I found a hard drive, I found some fucking video games. So, I got a bunch of shit, I should just fucking sell. Look, I got a giant fucking Zippo, like... Who has this? Who needs this? I gotta fucking get rid of some shit. What up, though? It's fucking 5 p.m. now, and I'm still out here with Kyle. What up, though, Kyle? What up, though? Yeah, okay, and then, uh, so I threw out all these papers, and barely any trash, okay? I'm barely doing nothing. I'm looking at every single paper individually. I got a hoard of shit here that I don't know what to do with. And I'm barely halfway through. Sure. And it definitely fucking smells like moist back here. And so uh, this boy is some more speakers that I should get rid of. These are actually rears anyway to justify my hoarding. And then here's some more speakers that I should get rid of. Um, these I should never get rid of. And that's where I'm at right now. I got a fucking massive headache and I think it's because I'm a little dehydrated I have been not been drinking water for three hours <laughs> like dude am I fully retarded or what fully yeah so anyway that's another clip for Stay this stay hydrated one. friends yeah drink I got a headache right here and a little bit back here behind my ear I need to drink and smoke and relax and then uh, get back to calmly throwing out papers the oldest paper I found so far was Probably three. Yeah, two thousand three. What was it? A, a bill or or a, or a welfare check or something? Look at this stuff. I drew this in nineteen ninety six. I would have been in grade school. And then uh, this is uh, me at fourteen years old. Um, my Sonic the Hedgehog tie. And this is in uh, June. June 96, 14 years old. So as you can see, I was quite the talented artist at 14. <laughs> I found this document here. It says Fake Japanese Butts and Fatherhood, which is the name of a, a vlog that was like one of the original vlogs that I had put out like when I first tried to vlog back in like 2010. I've been finding documents as old as fucking grade school in a box that uh, like I've seen in this box today I've seen my whole life I've seen job receipts like payment stubs bills collection agencies court go to court uh, like everything everything even like if you're one of those fans that watches the shows enough to know what I'm talking about right now that time that I got arrested for coming back to Canada and I was detained it was like a juggalo day weekend uh, because they switched their system over and I had like a, a warrant for my arrest for some unpaid tickets in in the province of Quebec 
Well, uh, I found those tickets. I found the tickets for jaywalking and oops, sorry. Found the tickets for jaywalking and also for making too much noise in the street. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, man. The whole thing has been just like this huge, huge fucking time warp of images and and uh, you know I don't want to throw none of it away, but I'm showing you like I packed this cocksucker with papers today and. Uh, it feels a little bit bad, you know. Sure, I didn't look at any of these things. Like, let me tell you another one. <clears throat> I'm not going to dig it out here, but there was a receipt for a pawn shop where we pawned off a Nintendo 64, two games, and a controller, like the whole thing. We got 50 bucks. I remember that night. We went out and bought cocaine with that money. It was a fucking awesome night. We did end up buying the 64 back. You know, it was a good time. But, like, this whole box, bro, like, it's everything. Everything from, like, when I lived in, in the province of Quebec all the way back in 2004. You know, I got grade 8 fucking drawings from 1996. 1996, bro, I, I made this. It's just amazing how I have these things to me. And uh, so, yeah, that's it for this clip. This box is almost empty, and so, uh, I don't know. Here's a little mood ring, uh the mood ring. It's turning black because that's what I am. Black sold. Black hearted. Anyway, uh, Mima's coming home early from work and there's all this mess all over the damn place. So she's going to be pissed. I brought in garbage pails and shit to fucking sort out all the junk. Anyway, whatever. I'll uh, rap at you about different shit later. Dude. What? What happened here yesterday? I don't know. You made a mess. I made a mess? Yeah, you well, I'm trying to clean the closet out like you asked me to, you know? But I pulled all this little shit out and tried to sort it all. Hold the closet stunk like still water. I saw silverfish in the bathroom. It still, it just smells like old wood now, like you claimed it did yesterday. Well, no, it smelled wet to me and I was worried about it. I had to do something about it. And then we got more shit on the floor over here. All this shit that you see that is a mess, all of it was in this closet from the floor basically to about there. And it was not good because uh, it was smelling wet. And I can't have that shit because the bathroom, uh, the... Uh, the bathroom was really bad like a couple years ago and like the mold was out of control and <clears throat> it took a minute to uh, get the money together to get it all fixed and now that it is I don't want water you know obviously all over the place or anywhere let's go check out the weed plants and then I got one other quick thing to talk about in this clip and then I'll move on Sudoku I don't do Sudoku so that's not my trash Okay, let's check out the plants real quick here. Bang! They're getting bigger every single day. They were looking fucked up in the beginning because they were getting overwatered. Now, my homeboy says, just let nature take its course. So, I might like top them. I never really topped weed before. So I might top them. I might do the super crop thing, I don't know. And, uh, and yeah, so I'll talk about two things actually right now and then I'm going to end this clip. One, <coughs> I used some of my gathering donations to uh, buy this. It is a, uh, I don't know, USB to iPhone or Android uh, to SD card to micro SD card and lightning charger adapter. And uh, that's dope because my computer doesn't have an SD card reader, so this should be awesome. And also, hopefully, uh, I should be able to just grab videos that I take with my phone off of this, off of the phone with this easily. That'll be great. <coughs> and then, in summation today, I'm going to go, hopefully, find the motivation to hook my camper up to my truck and pull it over to my mom's place so that uh, I, can, I can maybe camp out at my mom's house this weekend and uh, 
I gotta bring the camper to the people that fix campers next Friday. So I'm just gonna leave it at my mom's all week. And then Beebs, what are you doing? You're going to parents this weekend? Huh? Yes. Duty. Yes. Are you gonna have fun there? I guess. Okay, What's buddy. your plan, dude? I don't know. Maybe you're gonna go to cut the your beach. dad's hair. You're gonna go to the beach? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right, it's fucking 3.54 in the morning. I can't sleep for shit. I went to bed at midnight and I was fucking laying there for like three hours. I couldn't sleep. I got out of bed, I got dressed. Now I'm smoking Swagnito's live. I'm live on his live stream. And uh, that's where I'm at with life. I got the memory card thing um, and it came with these cards that was like get a free memory card or get a free micro SD card but I'm on the website and it isn't loading the right thing to give me the thing but it also says only selected early stage customer will receive this giveaway so I'm sure this thing's been for sale for a hot minute and I missed the opportunity to get the thing whatever so I've been uh, I edited the video today Everything that you've seen until this clip, it was all like the last couple weeks. I edited all that shit together, and now this is a new clip. And uh, I was, like I said in the video, I noticed that I repeat myself all the fucking time. I find it really annoying, but I have a hard time stopping it. Anyway, I was going to take the camper to my mom's house yesterday on Friday, but I just decided not to uh, because I'm lazy as fuck. And now... Um, and now... Uh, it's fucking 4 a.m. and I want to take the camper to my mom's place, but I uh, Swagnito's talking and it's throwing me off. But uh, I want to take the camper to my mom's place today on Saturday, but I got to go film with Backsack today, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm fucking stupid and lazy. I got to get the camper out of my driveway and move it over to my mom's place for a couple days, where I can open it up and wash it. That's it for now, man. That's uh, Swag Needo. What up, though? It is Saturday, whatever day it is, July 3rd, I guess, uh, at 1 p.m. And I'm trying to move the camper to my mom's like I've been talking about. And this is where I'm at. I got this thing to the fucking moon, and it's still not quite clear. And it's definitely rubbing. But once I get it on the truck, hopefully it won't be rubbing too much. I don't know. I'm fucking worried about it. So I had to deflate the tires uh, last season so that I could even fucking fit it in here. I don't know if you can tell that they look really fucking low and they've been sitting like that. So anyway, I'm just trying to hitch on, pull it out into the road, put some air in the tires, and then take it over to my mom's place. All right, well, it's out. And my neighbor helped me just spot it so that it wouldn't fucking damage she said it was rubbing and this thing is all fucking beat up and beat up to shit and you know I'm gonna have to figure it out I, I wish the carport was just a fucking six inches taller if it was just six inches taller on this side I would have no problems but look at all the glorious space hey the campers out there let me turn the camera off and walk out there and show you the tires well, the tires have been sitting this flat. Oh, that's really, really low. Holy fuck, I gotta put some air in this bitch, big time. I guess I didn't realize how flat they were when they're sitting on this edge of this sidewalk with the transition down to the road, but they were sitting this low since November. So hopefully they didn't develop a flat spot or some weak ass spot, weak ass spot or something. Now is the uh, time to fill the air compressor and pump up the tires and then I'm gonna take it over to my mom's place I'm so out of fucking shape bro it is out of control I walked from the compressor over there to the camper and back twice and I'm out of breath I'm fucking sweating my ass off it's not good anyway my 100 PSI max compressor I put 80 pounds in it and I could only squeeze maybe 60 into the tire and uh, it's still flat, you know what I'm saying? So 
uh, uh, I'm gonna have to make a couple of trips to pump these tires up. Well, I've got the camper to my mom's house, and I got the power washer. It's about 20 to 4. I'm getting ready to wash this bitch right now. Let's do it. I broke this. Fucking smashed it with the fucking brush, the wash brush. I'm pissed about it. It's got the white on the top. And this has the tuck tape on it, so this is one of the old boys. And uh, I'm washing the camper. It's getting really clean. And it looks pretty good so far. This all is like adhesive. I need some goo gone to make it go away. And the same around here. But yeah, I just smashed this fucking light out. I did have a replacement, but this piece is red instead of white. So I'll probably try to, I don't know, replace it maybe. I don't know. And so yeah, I've got about half the camper clean. I just soaped the back. I, did, I washed the front. I washed this fucking driver's side. Now I'm going to tackle the back. It's already soaped. I'm about to rinse it, but I just broke that light and I didn't want to get all the uh, electronics, the lights and everything wet under there, so it's nice. I'm going to get a nice tan too, fucking standing out in the sun all day. What up though, it's Saturday at around 6 p.m. and check it out. I got the camper at my mom's place. I washed it. It looks clean. Uh, I might come back here and sleep in it tonight. Oh shit, I forgot to do this with the jack. Fuck. I gotta take care of this right now. Uh, so now it's a little after 6. I'm running late like I always do. And I need to get to Backsack's house so that we can do Trauma Pro Wrestling. So I'm gonna handle that and then I'll, I'll film when I get there. Oh, well, I didn't realize that this is exactly what I look like. About a, a Yo, check out Trauma Pro Wrestling on YouTube. If you don't, you're a fucking bitch. With a head on it. Trauma Pro Wrestling. Let me just get a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if So yeah, as long as you stand there and don't do yeah. too much moving, all right? Yeah. And um, you're gonna kind of look back at him. You know something, Nutsack? These cocksuckers don't know who the fuck they're dealing with. You know what, Nutsack? These cocksuckers don't know who the fuck they're dealing with. All right, um, try it again. Sorry, I didn't press record in time. Okay. And just do it a little bit louder, like you're pissed okay. off. You know what, Nutsack? These cocksuckers don't know who the fuck they're dealing with. All right. Factor's job is never done. Yeah, how are you breathing in that, buddy? Pretty good, actually. I don't like really my face covered a lot, but it's not that bad, really. You got all that hair coming out there. <laughs> then you're fucking doing some ICP gay shit, you know? It's cool. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> the what is perfect. I gotta catch this ball. Do you want no. more? Yeah, no, more gut. More gut. Out. Hang on, more gut. Uh, take a step forward. I just want to get you on the green screen until... Uh, a little bit, uh, no, where you're at's good. I'm going to make you take one full step forward and then get ready in your jump ball pose. You know what I mean? J slam the uh, NBA Jam style. So you're just going to go. Okay. Ready, set, and walk to the middle. Look at your opponent. You're lining up. Yeah. Now get in your jump ball. Yeah. And then jump to reach the ball. That was perfect. Yep. And then now do it from the front. So now you're walking up forward towards the camera, stopping before the end of the green screen, getting in your position, and I'll tell you when to jump, okay? All right, not yet, one sec. And all right, give me the walk towards. Line up. Yep. And then when I say, and jump. Nice jump. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and cut for a second, and let me look at the numbers. There you keep it. Yeah, woo! All right. Is it too much celebration? Nope. That's perfect. I might get a close-up of you celebrating, or like watching it go up, you know? Turn like angle towards this light. Like, yeah. So I'm gonna get the side of your face looking up here at the net. Yeah! Okay, so one sec. 
Um, just don't move far back at all. All right. Yeah, watch it a little bit more. Okay. And then give it a big fucking grunt. Don't worry about the hand thing. Put your arm down and just watch it. Okay. And then you're watching it, you're watching it goes in. Yeah! Yeah! All right, so your hands were going off, so keep it a little bit more oh, cut pressed to the middle, yeah. yeah and yeah, whenever you're ready to go again, you're watching it. And it's in! Oh, yeah! Perfect. Yep. Awesome. You look like a cool ass luchador, man. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, like like uh, access to the alleys, you could do heist scenes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah man. Bad thing, you know, like you can start your show off with like shootouts in the, in the alley, alley and stuff. Yeah, that would be bad. Alleys. What up, though? It is July 4th. It's 10 to 5. Mima's on her way home. And uh, happy Independence Day. Look, check this out. Hey, oh, you can't see? Let me see. Does this work? Huh? Huh? There you go. So, uh, if you're doing stuff on the 4th of July, I hope you're fun and having fun and being safe. Check it out. People have been calling out 4K for the trash in this house, and I got hoarding problems. You saw that I was talking about it earlier with the, um, the closet. Well, look, here's all the closet. I still put a bunch of shit back in it. Some of it, like this one, I didn't sort, but... Whatever. It's, I did throw some out. It is some progress. It is menial and it shouldn't even be spoken about like it is anything. So, uh, before I moved into this place, over 10 years ago, I bought these speakers uh, and fucking uh, they didn't work and I got ripped off by a guy who I thought was my homie. So I've kept the speakers the whole time as a physical reminder that you know, don't let fucking people rip you off, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get fucked over. And Mima wants to make some room in here, and we gotta throw them away. And like, I don't use them, they should be just tossed, There's not even they're not even worth selling. Uh, I couldn't even pawn them. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to throw them away, and I really don't want, like, I don't know. I do, but I don't because of what I just said, you know what I'm saying? And the other little speakers over there, uh, they're nothing. I guess I gotta toss them too, because look, look, I got the great sound system in the house. Right? I got the party speaker also. So, like, it's, it's, it's stupid to keep this here, taking up space. What does it do? It holds up two empty Fago bottles and two fucking Nang fucking tanks? It doesn't make sense. I gotta throw it out. I think now is the time that I come to terms with a uh, hundred dollars from over ten years ago, right? So that's it. I'm gonna throw them out. I know that I sound like a fucking idiot right now. That's why I'm making this video, because I want to make it clear that I do understand that I am a hoarder. You know what I mean? And that I'm working on it, but not really. There they are, okay? The four speakers. I took them out of the house. They're outside. They're not coming back in. Here's the empty spot. All right? All right? I threw out my own trash. The fucking... Don't let people take advantage of you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it always happens <coughs> uh, constant. Not, not to me at a constant rate, you know what I mean? I try to remain vigilant, but, you know, if something seems too good to be true, it most likely is. So, just make sure you, uh, make sure you always got a plan B. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you can do it yourself and make sure you always got a plan B. Don't rely on some fucking idiot to sell you fucking speakers <laughs> and then you get fucked over. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm baked and I'm done uh, probably vlogging for today. Maybe Mima's going to come home. Maybe I'll film her. Maybe I won't. What up though? It's Monday now and this is the last scene for sure in the vlog despite any other things. I went and saw my mom. She gave me a chicken. <clears throat> Let's go look at the plants. Hey, listen, uh, I know I fucking sounded like a bitch yesterday about that hoarding thing, but it's just like, I just feel like it's my life, you know, and my brain is shit, and I can't ever remember anything, and, you know, so I, I have this fear that, like, if I throw these things away, you know, that I, I might forget them, and then I'm going to forget my life, and it's not that it's like, say, for example, a lease, you know, or a, or a seat, uh, that I want to keep it's just that when I look at those things it helps me remember all the other times anyway 
I know that I feel like I sounded like a bitch yesterday, and it, look at how fucking big these plants are anyway. This is the last scene. Look, they're getting fucking huge. I have not topped them yet. They're looking fucking crazy big. They're almost overgrown the... Uh, they're almost overgrown the tomato fucking cages in just, what, three weeks or a month? So, I'm really impressed with how well they bounced back. And I have not been watering them or nothing since the since the shots a couple weeks ago where I overwatered them I have not given them any water I think I'm just gonna let nature take its course and see what happens with the weed and then we'll go from there <coughs> excuse me so with all that being said thanks for watching this episode of the vlogs you guys I'm gonna come back next Monday with another vlog I'm trying to get back into the editing game I know I've said that already and uh, here we are three weeks later I'm finally ready to upload some content right now today Monday you should be watching this today tonight maybe I'll release it this afternoon I don't know but uh, love you guys check out studio 17 if you haven't and that's it for now. We'll see you on the next one. Woop woop.